Hi, this is Dan Locke. Are you thinking of using videos to grow your business, to market your products and services? Maybe you're looking for ways to gain more subscribers and gain more views. Or maybe you're kind of on the fence and you want to try video marketing but not sure how to get started. What you're about to see is a special exclusive workshop that I've conducted with some of my superstar mentees. Now these are the exact strategies that, that I have used to grow my channel to hundreds of subscribers, to thousands of subscribers, to tens of thousands of subscribers, to now hundreds of thousands of subscribers. So these are very proven strategies. And this is only one video of the entire series. So make sure you click on that I button and click on the playlist. Check that out so you don't miss the before and after and watch the entire playlist. Now, if this is the first time you watch my video and you wonder who is this Dan Lok guy, click on the subscribe button below and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Every single day, I upload a video to my channel for you. And you can see we have hundreds of thousands of people watching my video and they enjoy the content very much. I think if you deep dive into my content, you also get a lot of value from it. With that said, let's dive right into it. How it works, I've showed you what it's like and I've started with the why. Now let's go into how it works with YouTube advertising. The king of high ticket sales, world's highest paid consultant, media celebrity, multi-millionaire entrepreneur, acclaimed TEDx speaker, international best-selling author, Dan Locke. Five elements of ad video. Write this down, make sure you take notes here. We talked about a little bit about from uh, Desmond's talk, but there is a few things that are slightly different in this one that is in the advertising world that you're gonna do is slightly different. And that is in the intro for your video, this is the video that is gonna be seen when after they you see an ad pop up and that person clicks on it, it's gonna go to that video on your YouTube channel that you made. And that YouTube video that you made is what we call right here, this particular, it's, it's a pre-roll video or a welcome video or another way they say it is hook video. This is the video that gets them to do something that you want them to do for your desired outcome for your target audience with this video. And if you do it right, with the right psychology and the right factors here, you're gonna be able to do them these things. Now, another thing that's important is you really wanna get their attention. So if you're gonna get their attention, right, and maybe you have to do something weird, maybe you have to do some kung fu punches, or maybe you have to do something where you go like, hey, or you maybe have to start waving like crazy, or maybe you could just be professional and then just say something that is just really profound that hooks them and gets them to pay close attention, right? And so it's really important that you get your intro right because this is where you wanna to get to that point in that first five seconds for a YouTube ad, slightly different what you can do, you know, how we talked about earlier in Desmond's uh, talk about the importance of saying the title of what you're gonna talk about in the first, you know, five to six to 10, 15 seconds. You wanna get to the point on that. With the, the ad side on the ad videos, you wanna make sure you get to the point in the first five seconds so they know exactly what to do if they wanna pay attention to this or move on. If you don't do that, then you're losing a lot of potential prospects because you didn't get to the point right enough. And so with that, you wanna go into, after you got them hooked, then you're gonna go into the pain points. A lot of you have questions for things that you might be struggling with in your business. Maybe you're weak at email marketing or maybe you're uh, you know, struggling with certain things in other areas of your business. No matter what those struggles are or pain points are, you know that there's a lot of stuff that's out there, but depending on how it's marketed to you, you're gonna do something about it if somebody shares with you the pain points that get you to go, hey, this person gets me. This person understands me because they know this is what I'm looking to get out of this struggle or this huddle, uh, you know, hurdle that I'm dealing with, right? And so that's where you go into, after you've addressed that in this video, you can also address their passions. It might not always have to be like, actual words that talk about their passions and addressing those passions, it actually could be done through just certain types of video shots or B-rolls or certain angles in the videos 
that are done to help them get that feeling of what they're talking about, whether it be lifestyle-related things or family-related shots or something that you did with your business or that house that you sold or you know, maybe it's those you're, you're speaking on stage, talking and, and helping your audience. Whatever it is, it's helping them feel like, oh, yeah, I want to do that too. That's some of my passions. I want to be a part of that, right? And so that's why you want to pay attention to that as well. And then you want to get down to the solutions. This is where the solution is to give them these things that maybe you give them a free course is one of the solutions. Or maybe you're telling them, hey, if you go to this webinar, I'm going to give you such and such solution. And then that's whatever industry you're in. And you give them that solution that's related to that, right? And then the next part is call to action. This is where you really have to make sure that if you know your outcome, which is either to grow your influence or subscribers, you want them to hit the subscribe button. You want them to comment. You want them to engage with you because that's your audience. That's your prospects that you're connecting with and growing that trust with, right? And so it's really important that you have that call to action and whether it be calling them to subscribe or whether it's getting them to go into a webinar as your call to action or getting them to click on the link down below and whether it's having the video telling them to click on the link down below, even whether it's, it's like visual plus verbal, you want to have those elements in there that is super important. Now, this is possible to have a 60-second video, an ad video, 60-second ad video, or a one-minute ad video, or a two-minute ad video. Try to keep it around 60-second to two-minute ad video to get to the point, but also get them to the clear call to actions, including the elements in here from the five elements of an ad video. This is really important because as you do these things and you hone your skill with these things, you know your own industry the best because you're the expert. And so you want to make sure you do these things so that you get them to their your channel. Because if you get them to the channel after that, they either are going to take action on that or guess what? Worst case scenario, they get to see your other videos that you've been making content of. And so they gradually get to know you even if they don't take action right away on your products and services. That's okay. Build up the trust. It's the same thing with other areas. If you go on a date with a, you know, a girl or a guy and you ask them to marry you on the first date, how do you think that's going to go? I don't think that's going to go too well, right? Uh, probably, you know, most part, you're probably going to get rejected or maybe some water in your face, you know, something like that. But wouldn't it be nice if you could just go into the natural approach, natural selling, natural helping and giving that value? That's where you go with that. And so that's the cool things about the five elements of your ad video. Now, we talked about the outcome. You talked about, you know, when you're in a session with somebody, you're telling them and you're coaching them on something like, hey, what is your outcome? Well, same thing with the paid advertising world. We're asking you, hey, you told us what your outcome is. What is your target audience? We ask you what your target audience is so you can know what to focus on and what not to focus on. So if you are doing martial arts, for example, and you're running a martial arts studio or dojo or whatever, and you have mainly male customers, do you think your ads should include women? Well, that's a mixed uh, opinion there, but maybe you do a split test, right? You can do a split test to just have it one ad target males and maybe another ad that targets females. Nothing wrong with that, split test, you know? Rule out the objectives instead of just assuming stuff, right? And so that's why you wanna make sure you know your target audience. Target audience isn't just male or female. It could be many other things. And we're going to go into those things about what those things look like in your YouTube ad as you make your ad and you target your customers. All right, so we got demographics. These are some cool things that you can do that are super laser targeted, like a sniper, more than just a shotgun approach. With the sniper approach with YouTube advertising, you've got age, all these different age groups. You can uncheck the ones that you don't want. So if you know your customer, is, you're selling, let's say, life insurance uh, to uh, senior citizens, for example. Well, you obviously want to uncheck uh, 18 through 24, so you want to make sure you save money there, right? Here's some other ways to save money. Well, we talked about the, the dojo thing, where if you only have male customers, you can uncheck these other two. Well, what about these weird uh, check marks here for these unknowns? Well, you know, if your gender doesn't know if they're male or female, and they need to decide, hey, they could pick unknown. Hey, nothing wrong with that, right? And so maybe they're an alien. Hey, we don't know. They might be amongst us. I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I mean, I'm saying, but I'm not saying. <laughs> but anyway, so with that, you got these demographics here, really targeted demographics, right? This is awesome. Now, another thing that you can do with your ads as you're building your ad up for your audience 
is interest of the person and topics content of page. Let me break this down real quick and pay close attention to this because this is important that you think about not just your target audience, but what are your ideal prospects interested in? So when you're writing down in your notes here, not just your target audience, who are my prospects? Who are my ideal customers? Not the broke people, not the people that you don't want as customers, but the who are your ideal customers? I want you to write down what is the types of interests and things that my customers are interested in? Is, is my customer interested in golf? Is my customer interested in arts or entertainment or cars or personal development or dating or food or games? What is your ideal target audience interested in? This is where you can get really deep and really ninja on this stuff here when you're making your ad or whether we're doing or whatever. And so you really want to make sure that you can add this because here's where it gets really fun. With, with interests and topics, you can also target your competition. Ooh, yes. You could target your competition where... If you are, let's say, a you know uh, ABC realtor, and then you've got you know XYZ realtor over here who's got their stuff out there, and they're just putting out videos. They're not doing paid advertising, or maybe they've got a YouTube channel. They got some awesome videos. You can put your video on top of their video if they if their channel is monetized, and you could put your video on top of their uh, videos that they're putting out there. And so before they even see that person's content they see your ad. Ooh, isn't that awesome? Yeah, I like that. I know I like that. Do you? So definitely you want to make sure that you have these things that you can target your customers, but also target your competition so that you can still be ahead of the game and dominate, right? Do what? Dominate. dominate. That's right. And so that's the next part with topics of content. You want to think about the things that the topics that they're, you know, uh, related to, you know, whether it be per personal development, whatever. And so that brings us to the next part, keywords. I talked a little bit about this earlier, and I talked about a little bit about the, you know, you put in like a long-term, excuse me, long-tail keyword, like, for example, Vancouver Entrepreneur Group or uh, how to make money online or, you know, getting results as a coach. Those are longer keywords that are long-tail keywords that you can put in and we do the similar strategy in SEO ranking for free strategies with videos, but we also do this in the paid ad worlds if you're going to do a keyword type of ad uh, as well. And you build up a list of keywords, not just one, but several of them, but you want ones that you can basically optimize over time. And we're going to talk about optimization in just a moment so you cannot waste your money and get rid of the keywords that are not working for you as you test your ad. You always want to be testing. Now, with keywords... There's some other cool things you can do with keywords and uh, things that you can put them in quotations or without quotations to do some different things so that they're looking up the right things. You can do negative keywords. And what negative keywords is, is when you're doing negative keywords, this is stuff that you, you if they put in, let's say, uh, let's say your, your, your keyword is uh, Vancouver Entrepreneurs Group, right? But if you just have like another keyword that's like, uh, Vancouver Gamers Group. If you don't want gamers to find Vancouver Entrepreneurs Group, you would put in negative keywords, Vancouver's Gamers Group, so that way anybody who's a gamer that's in Vancouver and is looking for groups puts out the keywords. You don't want your ad to pop up in front of that person. You only want your ads to pop up in front of your ideal prospect or customer so that it's a really targeted ad and that's gonna help you keep your ad really good for getting results for whatever action and outcome that you want. So, what have you learned from my talk and how does it apply to you and how do you take direct action? Comment below and let me know. If any other questions, you can also comment below. And don't forget, click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification and hit the bell. So every single time I upload a new video, you will get notified. If you wanna watch my other videos, make sure you can check them out on the left. You can check out all the other videos that I have we have hundreds of videos on YouTube. You want to expand on a topic? Check it out.